What's up, guys? It's your boy, Kazaris. I'm finally back. Hello, everybody. Um, I don't have an excuse. I just didn't feel like doing YouTube, but now I do. Because I wanted to share this cool deck with y'all. Uh, Sacred Beasts. Got a couple new things to support it. We got Phantasmal Summoning Beast and Phantom Nightmare. This card alone... I don't know. It's like an extra copy of Dark Summoning Beast. It, it has a nice effect where you can search the fusion spell. But I don't want to add Uriah, and I also don't want to add the fusion spell. Uh, I, I'll i maybe try it at locals. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe just like the extra benefit to just like guarantee kill your opponent on the next turn is cool. But I mean, ultimately, it's just an extra way to get a, a guy to hand. It's an extra piece, and it might not even be worth it, honestly. Um, we got Nightmare Throne, which is just Rhoda for Dark Beckoning Beast, Chaos Summoning Beast, Dark Summoning Beast, Phantasmal Summoning Beast, and the new Infernal Grave Squirmer. Um, so this card does kind of nothing, but kind of a lot. Uh, if you get impermed on any of these guys, it is just uh, an extender. It'll summon itself from hand if you control a fiend as a quick effect. Uh, then you can destroy one monster you control that as you bail or mentions it. Um, not that part isn't really mandatory or isn't really useful since we're not playing you bail. Uh, when we when we get the the fusion that like contacts it's and summons itself and it's a monster negate and everything. Then we'll definitely play that. We'll play like the one Spirit of Ubel and the one Ubel just to have like a monster to gate every turn. Kind of crazy. Um, but in the meantime, we don't have that. Um, it can also banish itself to reborn a fiend monster with zero attack and defense from hand or grave. Uh, or special um, a fiend with zero attack or defense from hand or grave. So it can special itself. Um, and then it can like either reborn. So if Dark Beckoning Beast gets impermanent, for instance, you can special Grave Squirmer link for IP or SP. Um, or or Barricade Borg or Dark, whatever, uh, Link 2. You can banish it to Reborn the Dark Beckoning Beast. Uh, you don't get the uh, search effect still, but now the extra normal summon is not impermed. So you can extra normal summon something like Tribute over it for a Dark Summoning Beast, summon Uriah, or summon uh, Haman, banish it, search another one, or summon Chaos Summoning Beast, uh, and then get a Haman out of your hand, something like that. So it's definitely, definitely a great piece of support. Um, especially with Nightmare Throne, it lets us play things like Set Rotation, uh, and now we can play Terraforming. Uh, terraforming is essentially a Rota. We didn't play this before because we had Chaos Summoning Beast to search Fallen Bar Paradise or Dark Beckoning Beast if we already if we needed it. Um, and the, there was just no reason to play Terraforming when we this was already so accessible. Accessible, but now we can play Terraforming to access Nightmare Throne, or if like they Ash something for whatever reason, we can get this if we really need to. Um, and then Set Rotation too. Um, now, the only issue with set rotation is that while either one of the field spells is set on the field, we can't activate a new field spell. So if we use this to get Nightmare Throne and give them a Fallen Paradise, uh, activate Nightmare Throne, search, and then start our combo, uh, we can't activate our second Fallen Paradise um, while we the one that we gave them is set. So we have to go into something like SP to banish the one we gave them, and then we can play another one. So it doesn't affect us too much it just slightly changes the inboard we can't use like ip into sp as additional interruption or barricade borg to add back and protect our back row we just have to go right for sp but i think that's worth the additional consistency uh we have 12 non-engine well 15 i guess um you have imperm ash nib ogre i don't know if the, i don't know if this is correct i'm still testing against tempi I'm not entirely sure uh, my theory with the main deck floodgate though however is that ideally you don't really want to main deck floodgates because you can't control whether you go first or second. You should about 50% of the time you'll go first, right? Uh, but even if you lose a die roll in this format with a going second deck that's as meta relevant as Tenpai, um, do you have a higher chance of going first? They're going to make you start. So I I don't know. It, it seemed like a, a solid idea. I, I'm going to test it. Could Maybe it's incorrect. Maybe you just want to cut down or just move it to the side entirely. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, it's a cool thing is because you can also discard it uh, with opening the spirit gates to reborn a fiend and then opening the spirit gates can add back a continuous spell from grave if you control a level 10 monster which is pretty cool so free discard off of opening if you need it um or if this dies after two turns and you're still playing opening the spirit gates add it back reactivate it so that's pretty neat um i'm not entirely sure about raviel either i have two Haman raviel uh, it could just be three Haman. it could just be two Haman. uh Haman's the best one because it works with cerulean skyfire um, and it makes your opponent attack it while it's in defense. Now, the more I was thinking about this deck, and I'm like, no, surely Sacred Beast isn't that great. It's basically voiceless voice. Like, if, if you think about it, like, 
you have barrier up to protect from targeting and while barrier is up and low and skull guardian are up your opponent has to attack skull guardian while fallen paradise and Heyman are up your opponent cannot target or destroy Heyman, and your opponent has to attack Heyman. i mean it's, it's exactly the same lock as voiceless you just don't get an omni negate which is probably going to make it slightly worse but i get a draw two which is crazy uh, a draw to every turn which can draw me into all of my non-engine and my main deck floodgates which is just ab absurd um barricade borg can add back the nightmare throne after you like activate fallen paradise over top of it to give you follow-up because you're going to be making barricade borg blocker most of the time anyway um just to protect your opening the spirit gates and your fallen paradise from board wipes um, or from your opponent trying to get rid of them with main deck monster removal like phoenix um, and your opponent can't attack over barricade borg because they have to have to attack the Haman. Um, I'm not sure Cerulean is is the way to play it, and maybe this is cuttable also. Again, I'm just testing some, some things. Maybe just getting it to an even 40 is correct. Um, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but it, a, 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 a negate is pretty nice. A negate every turn. Um, also, Infernal Grave Squirmer, like if you resolve your whole end board, typically it's just Barricade Borg, Opening, Field Spell, Heyman, bunch of hand traps, Pass. But with Grave Squirmer, you also get two extra free bodies so you get ip barricade borg which is much 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 better for sure uh, and they can go into like abramax or something like that and all of a sudden now even if they clear the the paradise now they have to deal with another towers and all of a sudden it just gets so crazy um side deck tentative i don't know i like phantasma i want to play it but it's probably not correct i don't know if i need more floodgates in the side for going first against tenpai uh maybe i do i'm not entirely sure i should i'm drawing two if my combo resolves though which i don't know it might not into tenpai because they're playing a, a butt ton of hand traps but not entirely sure uh the new rank 10 is pretty cool not usually making a rank 10 this is like on following turns so i'm not entirely sure but like we can like if we open like these two together we can get both two level 10s out and then make this maybe like draw two and then overlay for this that could be an option uh simple nightingale is cool if you open like chaos summoning beast and gray squirmer that's Assembled Nightingale into just attack directly and make Zeus pretty nice. Uh, and then everything else is, I don't know, just kind of kind of testing some stuff. So let's just uh, jump right into a game. Uh, I'm trying to play a game and I just realized that <laughs> I can't. These are all OCG. All right, let me let me try and find a advanced unrated. I was sitting here like, why am I not finding a game? It's so weird. I guess we'll, uh, we'll get somebody hopefully. Oh, we got somebody. All right, I'm war I've warned him. Oh. I mean, my hand is all engine. We didn't go first. So already this theory is <laughs> lost die roll and they didn't make me start. Oh, this is at 60 cards. Oof. This uh, terrible me at 60 cards. Bro. Open no hand traps. I don't know. Maybe the deck lockdowns just need to be hand traps. Ooh, 60 card. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Deck lockdown's so crazy, though. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it just needs to be a hand trap. Might be griefing with main deck deck lockdown. We'll see. I don't know. I could also just activate it going second into a board that, like, tries to float. So it doesn't seem awful, but I don't know. But then I can't search, so never mind. Never mind. You got it, dog. Man, they opened happy and terraforming. Probably another brick, because they didn't put back the happy. So they probably just... That's rough. We... I don't know how well this deck plays into boards. That's why I'm going to try and figure out. Try and navigate it together, folks. Zombie vampire. Oh, no. I'm gonna show him. Damn it. We got the legal knight. Ooh. I got a little something something going on here. Okay. I can start with Chaos Summoning Beast, it's kinda cool. Kinda neato. Yep. Libich, 60 card, right, BA, Horus, is wild. So, double fog blade minimum, Omni Negate, 
IP into bring back break sword probably pop a card got it let's start with tarot card. thinking he's thinking they thinking okie doke grab nightmare throne don't draw me don't you do it yeah nothing else right okay uh, after interesting, getting the nightmare throne right away. Okay, so I go spirit gates. Actually, you know, let me move this just in case. No, not show deck. Okay, if this gets fog bladed, I don't care. So I can link it off. Fog blade does not matter in this instance. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, let's go. Thinking on res. I mean, I have. Make dark. Um, I can dark take into unicorn. Into access code. Oh, that's cool. Because I can just bring back. And then I still have. Okay. Um, Grave Squirmer. This card. Uh, this, this is. This is card's absolutely necessary. Okay. So force and SP. I have this to extend. Oh, doing it now. Okay. Sure. Double SP. That's crazy. Okay. I, I can kind of see that. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, let's go... Uh, discard additional normal. No, that doesn't make sense. If I discard, I wanna, uh, I wanna maneuver this. Because if I, so I can get back, I can link off, discard, bring it back, fog blades again. Then I'm kind of screwed. But if he lets me get the additional normal, then... If he fog blades again immediately, I lose. But if he lets me get the additional normal, then I'm chilling. Let's link off for Al Mirage. That goes to Grave. Fog blade. I don't know. This deck can kind of. I don't know. I'm kind of, kind of getting there. Grace Farmer is definitely helping. If this deck lockdown was anything else. Maybe I get there, but I don't know. I still have SP. Okay. I'm gonna pop. That's fine. Okay. Now I lose. Pop is bad. Yeah. Wait. What are you talking? Ducks. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, I can chain El Mirage. This 
this one's not fog bladed anymore. All right, okay. Not playing a tiny bit. Getting graveyard value. Hmm, that works. Yeah, that works. Thanks. Um, okay, that was. I tried. So, what I want. Uh, seems way better than those. And this seems way better than this. Yep. Drinking a seltzer water today. I'm trying to trying to cut back on soda intake. It's just it's just not good in any way, shape, or form. So I mean, I have droll and deck lockdown. Kind of nuts. Maybe I can. Yeah, maybe I could. That's fully one. Maybe I could also play like one allure because like I can search Raviel and then just have it as a free allure banish. Like if I just go fall in paradise, draw two, and one is allure, I draw two more and then banish the free Raviel. Or just like any extra dead beast in my hand. Maybe that's an option. Because like a lot of times I have like multiple of these. Or like multiple gray squirm or something. So I can, uh, maybe Allure is good. But Allure is also bad if you draw it with like one, your one combo piece. So I don't know. Uh, this turns off Imperm also, which is good. Uh, activate... That to the other side. Okay, I have this in my hand. That's okay. This gets this. Gets. This additional normal, I go Al Mirage. This is where I have to go. I don't know. Oh. Yikes. That would suck. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst. Drew a swarm. Fuck me, bro. Uh, oh, it doesn't target. Oh, I could have put it on that, I think. Eh, maybe I could have. I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't get Fallen Paradise here, but I think... Deck lockdown is just too good. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Just because it was set rotation. Unfortunate. Okay, all right. I don't know. It seems kind of kind of nuts. I mean, th this doesn't. The set Fallen Paradise doesn't really do anything. King Sark. It's fine. He's a player. Uh, he opened King Sark, which is crazy. Dark Ruler, or whatever. I don't know, man. 4K Horus, kind of big. I, a little unfortunate. No, we had the field spell too. Dude, 60 card hands are crazy. Dark Roller Drill Swarm. Nuts. I mean, you can link off Drill Swarm, send Hemon simply because I could not play. Or could not, uh, 
Resolve the combo. So the set rotation coming back to bite me in the butt, but I also couldn't have played without it. So like, I don't know. He opened Abyss Deal in the 60 card deck. Whatever. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. <laughs> totally forgot about that. So this is... In turn, I don't die. Okay. Play in main phase two. Yeah. It's kind of nuts. They just opened the King Stark Raw. If they didn't have that, then they can't play into deck lockdown. Photon Lord. Start turn. Sure. Um, and I lose. Oh. Sedge. Alright, well, now that answers our question. I'm gonna put the dick lockdowns inside. Put the drolls in the main. Okay. Right. Now, alright. Deck Doctor, here we go. Now, what are we playing in the side deck here? Yeah. Maybe evenly for stun matchups. Back to evenly. I like that. Right, let's uh, keep it at that. Okay. Back to advance. Reset. Try another one. Let's get a win. There you go. I don't know. This is very close to voiceless. Slightly worse, I think. Which is bad because voiceless already isn't great, but. Already not great, but I don't know. I, it's a little more consistent though, but you don't have any like one card combos. Like you have one card combo, like just Dark Beckoning Beast gets you to Heyman or any Sacred Beast, but that's all it does. It doesn't get you the lock. You need two card combo to see the lock. So I'm not entirely sure. Still figuring things out. Blastoise the Sanctifier. Interesting. Yep. When it's two in a row and they just go right for rock, it's so predictable. <laughs> it's just so funny to watch. Okay. Let's go Dark Vecna Beast. Imperm Ash. Imperm. Terraforming. Okay. Whoops, that's not. That's not that. This is Nightmare Throne. What? What the hell, bro? Yeah, Imperm hurts. It's gotta be Gray Squirmer. Link off. Yeah, I don't know. That gets me. IP and SP, that's all it gets me. It's not great. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes Voiceless just passes to an Imperm 2 and then <laughs> just hand traps them back. So, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Maybe I just hold the Nightmare Throne for follow up instead of getting the, instead of getting the uh, Infernal Gray Squirmer there. Maybe I just hold it to get another Dark Beckoning Beast. Might be the play. This dog is a dueling book warrior. Holy shit. 78, 75. Okay. Let me go first. This hand does nothing. Okay. Actually, I don't know. I drew Cerulean Skyfire, so it kind of does something. Okay. If this resolves. Okay. Uh, opening this. Ooh, I got the keep going signal. I love to see that. Hell yeah. And then I get. Uh, I get. 
The, no, I get this. Yeah, discard the special. With this discard a special tribute, the special. Yeah, okay. Okay, bang, bang. I can get Barricade Borg. Um, plus, I mean, this isn't great. Another IP into SP. Yeah, let's do that. Special summon ham. Come on. Um, banish to add him on. Declare banish to special. Activate and pass. Not the best, not the worst. I have a spell of trap negate, IP into SP, and an ash blossom. And. Kind of follow up, not really. I have some plays on the next turn, need to draw a follow up. <laughs> but yeah, that was just infernal. That was just Dark Summoning or Dark Beckoning plus Infernal Grace Warmer. So without the Skyfire, I would have just this. No. Without the Grace Warmer. Without the Sanctifier, it's this field here with just Grace Warmer, which is not great. I would probably put him on a defense so that they couldn't attack over IP. But with Skyfire, I'll negate something first and then put it to defense. Um, okay. Yeah, I just gotta get rid of this. Do I have another one? Yeah, that's right. Put you bell back on the screen. I could terraforming. I'll ash. Actually, would I even ash terraforming? No, probably not. I don't know. If they just have another field spell, so be it. But I had to get rid of it. That thing cannot stick around. Not at all. Must destroy. Brimming Sangin Manor. I mean, this might just be enough, honestly. No battle damage, this says. Uh, yeah, I think I chained to the hand effect of this. A quick play, I negate the act, I negate the effect. Start of the damage step. Special level four, Laura. Okay. You got it. Get Pedra. Okay. So this dies. Takes no battle damage, which is fine. Battle damage. Okay. Forgot about that effect. It's kind of neat. Nice. That's kind of cool. as always negate 
save some resolution. This is where... This is the one reason I hate playing this deck is because this always causes a dispute. This negates on resolution. Okay. Anyway. That was interesting. Okay. They... Now what did... <laughs> Now what do they do? They chose to go second and lost, and now what? Now what? I'm surprised they didn't open any hand traps. It's kind of interesting. Now what? Uh, well, if they're going... Because, <sighs> uh, like, I could put in deck lockdown if I'm going first, or if I'm going second. That might make just, just make seals pass, in which case Phantasm, I can get them pretty good. Not like, just like help me see more cards and kill them faster. Uh, fuck it, yeah, I'm taking a gamble. Deck lockdown, baby. Uh, I should just take out Nibs, right? Yeah, they're playing the battle phase. Right. Moment of truth. Yes. Predicted correctly. Deck lockdown. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Rose. Actually, my hand's not great, but whatever. Nightmare Throne. Nothing on Rose, probably. Okay. Let's get. Oh, I have Fallen Paradise. Okay, so I can get this. This is still... You know, assuming no Imperm. Okay. I mean... Not the greatest, but this is something... Could have a Bestial too. I don't know. There we go. Well, the issue is deck lockdown kind of hurts me if I don't play. Like this is good, this is better if I play, but if we're both not playing, then it kind of sucks. Then it kind of sucks. Um, I can't top deck really anything actually. That kind of sucks. Um, yeah. That really sucks. Hmm. During my second spin by face. All right, well, they're not playing. Um. If they didn't play last turn, then probably not playing next turn, right? Yeah, there's no way they're playing fucking evenly matched. Don't, that, does, that trick doesn't really work with, <laughs> with Tenpai. I mean, he thinks I'm not playing. I mean, I have follow-up as long as this dies. And then I can add it back, which is kind of stupid. And he might try and go for something. They might try and go for something. Yeah, there's no way they're playing evenly in Tenpai. That just sounds like the stupidest thing ever. Nice try, though. Fedora. <laughs> okay. doing bro Jeez. Okay. 
and draw. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Um, it's unfortunate. Um, I can only add it back if I control level 10. I don't think I have anything else, right? It all hurts. What can I do here, though? Um, you didn't summon at all. Because I just fucking... Yeah, just fucking get him. Get him! Unfortunate. I probably lose now. I just waited two turns. Prosperity. But if I have Imperm in the battle phase, which is kind of fine. Adding Droplet. All right, so they already have Field Spell. There's no way they don't take Field Spell. Yeah. Droplet. Interesting. Yep, there it is. I'm trying to bait the ash. Nice. If I had Droll, then I guess it doesn't matter. If they take Field Spell, they can't do it anyway. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Are not affected by opponent's active effects. During the main phase only. And we discard. Yep. Maybe. Hmm. So there's quick effect sink or something. Okay. So, they just go battle, I imperm, they chain, I imperm, they chain, I chain, SP, that kind of works, but they got, no, it doesn't work, because they, ugh, god damn it. Oh, man. So I imperm. This does nothing on attack deck. Okay. So I imperm. Well, actually, no. It has to be this. In which case, I think I still lose. Oh. Okay. Wow. You let that resolve. That's crazy. That makes it way easier. Then. <laughs> oh, right. Let's take 100. Uh, 50. I'm going to have to do this here. Yeah, I think I still just lose. Yeah. Get Biden. Okay, okay. Turn down the back. Alright, I mean, as long as I open slightly better than what I did, then it should be playable, but I don't know. Maybe actually swap these. 
like Cyclone instead of Droll. Man, Tempai is weird to interact with. Holy moly. This is going to be hard to build for. Got to study up, yeah? I'm going first. Trying to outplay him here. Let's see if this works or not. If I just get drolled, didn't matter if I go first or second. Uh, two hand. Res. Okay. Ash. Sure. Get this thing doesn't seem good. Does not seem good. I guess, I guess it's this. Oh, if I set up double a mon. That's kind of funny. If I set up double him on, they can't attack. Do block. Do block beats Tempai. Oh wait, no, I can't. I can't do it twice. Fuck me. Fuck. Uh. Hmm. I get another him on. Man, I really need two pieces, don't I? That kind of sucks. Uh, deck lockdown. Actually, let's bring this back. Okay, so extra value there. Go ahead. They have Cyclone. I have Ash Ogre. Himan in defense. They have to attack Himan. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I mean, I don't see... they kill me right am I missing something they can't ever clear me in battle they have to go moonlight does Biden am I, I might be missing something I don't know these entirely well Yeah, I don't, I don't know how they have Ogre and Ash. If they're not going for Black Rose, I don't see how they out of towers or a 4K body. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. 
Okay. Okay, we make what? Dragon. Reading. Uh, destroy a card on the field. Oh, there it is, okay. On the field to attack position. To attack, to attack. Okay, I see. So it has to kill this thing, though. Okay, take two thousand. experience a lightning storm I just I don't know maybe I have to play more bodies honestly I was not getting to my combo interesting maybe I have to play more of these huh. interesting interesting because I just, I just need fallen paradise plus these bodies much to think about maybe tempai is annoying uh yeah i don't know i'm gonna work on the list uh it's gonna be it for the video y'all i hope you enjoyed just a little showcase of what the deck can't do <laughs> didn't win one but don't have all the time in the world so i just wanted to give you a little preview of the deck i'll catch you all in the next one Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your coffees. Peace.